been a while since you've come here. Huh? Oh, yeah. So, are you just paying your respects, or...? No, it's nothing like that. It's just... I've been so caught up in working for a chance like this that... Now that it's here, I'm actually starting to wonder if I even deserve it. You know, if I'm honest, I never knew this Keiko person, but if I had to guess, I don't think she'd be okay with you letting your hard work go to waste after everything she went through. <laughs> You're right. Thanks, Kaze. Don't be silly. What are sisters for, anyway? Kusari has set up quite the challenge for the apprentices. Are you nervous? No. Of course. I should have expected as much. When Moronaku informed me you had taken the apprenticeship offered by the Kokai Agency, I was shocked. I had no idea of your aspirations to become a warden. As a child, you only ever spoke of your disdain for the city. Obscene, you call it. Hmm. But I was happy to see you making a choice unguided by our principles. Growing up in the temple, I was afraid that we were depriving you of your right to your own choices. How long has it been since they gave their lives? You, your I? Ten years this fall. I have seen monks work tirelessly for several decades to simply obtain the dedication to our teachings that you have in those ten years, Zerio. Do you not feel as though you've earned the forgiveness for any misgivings you had ten years ago? It's not that. I see. Bitterness, anger, hatred. These are all things we condemn, but because they are human, not because of their impurity. Like all life, humanity is temporary, and so to reach enlightenment, we are to let go of it and all the material things that die, as us. This is why we forgive transgression, because sin, too, fades with time. Much time has passed since you were struck with the turmoil that he brought to you. Can you not forgive yourself, even after all you've given up to this temple? I have nothing of myself to forgive. Then what do you hope to achieve in participating in something you abhor? As long as Agyo remains stolen, the lives lost protecting this temple are senseless sacrifices. My eye, my chores, those are not enough to make right what has been wronged here. So that is the burden you bear. Ungyo, Master... Take this with you. I can't. It belongs here in the temple. It belongs where it is needed. There is nothing that we here can do for you. But perhaps there is something it can. Call it an old man's feeble hope. Thank you. <clears throat> I, I wasn't staring! Honest! Uh, Arashi, what's up? 
So, you said anything to her yet? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, come on, man. It was just the two of you on the train before we got on. K keep it down. <laughs> Morning, Mitsuki. <sighs> hey, what's up, buddy? Uh, um, not much. Uh, mind if I... Thanks. <sighs> you okay? Aren't you nervous? <laughs> what, about the overgrowth? Nah, no way. But, but you saw how tough that Oni was. How strong it was on its own. There are thousands more powerful Ayakashi there. Well, yeah, but that's just it. You don't really think we're going to the overgrowth, do you? Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> Dude, really, think about it. This is the overgrowth. People get sent there to die. Do you really think they're going to send a bunch of cheap labor off to the front line? I guess I never thought of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. Kusati's just trying to scare us. It's probably going to be some dumb tournament for the job opening. That's what all the other wardens have done. Really? <laughs> yeah. Dudes come by all the time to tell Okuda about it. Besides, do you really think Sasaki would let Kusati do something crazy like abandon us in the overgrowth? <sighs> I... I guess you're right. Uh, a tournament doesn't sound so bad. <laughs> if not a bit overplayed, we're gonna be fine. <gasps> you can see it! Kay, look, look, look! You can actually really see it now! Kaze. Isn't it beautiful? I can't stop thinking about all the cool things I want to show you. Kaze. Aren't you excited? This is gonna be so much fun! Kaze. Yeah? You know going into the overgrowth isn't that simple. You worry too much. This is all gonna be a piece of cake. Whatever test the president is throwing at us, it's gonna be just fine. That's... That's not what I'm saying. Then what's up? <sighs> Kaze. You know... You know the overgrowth isn't a safe place. If you know what you're doing, it's not. Look, I know that you're experiences are different than the rest of us, but I'm just trying to warn you. This isn't a field trip. This is business. Warden business. I know, Kay. The Ayakashi are our enemies, Kaze. I can't promise that they won't end up getting hurt. I know. I promise. I'll be okay. The train stopped moving? Threat level 5. Oh, Daikaiju. Shit. We apologize for the delay. Please remain calm as we wait for the proper authorities to come. We repeat, please remain calm. Wardens are on their way to assist. To be escorted to a safe zone, please make your way to car one. Horrible. There hasn't been a Daikaiju sighting in years. But... but why? Seems that Oni you met in the overgrowth was just the start, huh, Mitsuki? What? Me? Pay close attention, kids. This is what warding is all about. Hey, hey! Sancho! Look who it is. Uh, them, huh? Looks like we're pulling out all the stops. Over here! Over here! Please remain calm as we Right, bub. <laughs> You're not the only one. Uh, with camouflage here. <laughs> Allie. <Yep. laughs> Aw, what's the matter, big guy? You never seen blood before. All right. Way to go, Sarah. Oh, get it, mommy. Dude, you gotta be so loud. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Mitsuki, you should be watching, too. Considering what you're all getting into, I hope you're taking notes. Uh... Masaru, you know the twins. Why not enlighten Mitsuki and clue us all in on why they're so uniquely suited for a task like this? <laughs> um, well... Oh yeah, their reflection! Their power lets them travel through mirrors, and I guess with all the windows from the buildings nearby, they're at a huge advantage! <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? When am I not? True. But that's just their ability. Every warden has a reflection. What I mean is, what do they have that other wardens don't? <sighs> Each other. It's what President Kusadi calls the Kokai advantage. A carryover from Okuda's old warding policies. 
That's why they applied to Kokai in the first place. Later, Gator. Kikumaru's wardens operate on a solo basis, so even though their reflection relies on their relationship, they wouldn't have been able to work there. That's why Kusadi hired them instead, because Kokai wardens work in pairs. Exactly. Back when Okuda ran his company, he made sure all of his wardens were never left to face Ayakashi alone. As he put it, humankind is not meant to be alone, especially not in the face of horrors like the overgrowth. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as messing with just one of us! Well, aside from the fact that the sentiment is great for PR, the President also recognized the value of that policy. Reflections aren't just abilities we use to fight Ayakashi. They are real-world manifestations of the contents within our souls. With no challenge to grow, no point of reference for our own follies, we become stagnant, and our reflections do as well. So the Warden's Kokai pairs off, the type of education Okuda provides at the Academy is all an effort to combat that stagnation. Ooh, you look like shit. You okay? Yeah. Guess you couldn't phase fast enough either, huh? <laughs> Kikumaru, the private nurseries, they all foster isolation. Of course, you're all graduates of Hanasaka, so those conditions might be a bit foreign to you. Don't you think it's about time we wrapped this thing up? The academies funded by Kikumaru aren't the warm school environment the old man made sure to give all of you. They're experimental laboratories attempting to weed out the weak, so that only the best are hand-selected by Kikumaru. They build soldiers without soul. Even though they graduated from one of those nurseries, Shiriko and Momoko survived because they always had each other. When no one else was around, they could count on the other for support. Not just to combat the isolation, but to draw strength. <laughs> Look! It's a Kikumaru Warden! Oh, finally here! So like Having a partner forces you to look at yourself, for better or for worse. They hold you accountable. They can cheer you on or test your patience, but most of all, they give you a real, tangible reason to get the job done. It's easy to forget just what's important when all you see is your enemy. So having a partner beside you, someone to make sure gets out alive, gives you a purpose. Turn into a black hole? monster too? To maintain your humanity. When you lose sight of each other, when you no longer care about your partner, then you lose what separates you from the monsters you're fighting. Meet you all at the top! Oh, come on already. Well, guess there's no sense in making them wait any longer. Hey, Mitsuki. With everything that Hagane said about pairing off, do you... Do you think that maybe... Yeah, sure, bro. You don't gotta worry. I'll protect your humanity. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks. Nothing's changed, right? Not unless you're chickening out already. <laughs> Me? Chickening out? Since when? <laughs> hey, you're not alone anymore, okay? Thanks, Kazi. Ma- Oh, no. That's, um... <sighs> Hmm. Uh, come on, man. You know, it's pretty hard to work with someone you can't really talk to. Huh? I mean, think about it. Communication is probably the most important part of teamwork. That's why Mayu, me, and I make a pretty good team, don't you think? Uh, if you can't even say hi to her, what makes you think you could ever be her partner? Um, Mayu, me! Hey! Huh? Oh, morning, Kashin. Or afternoon. When did you get here? Uh, well, I've been here. Well, look at you. You're quite the wingman, huh? I do like birds. Ugh. Thank God you're all safe. I've been worried sick. How can I have been calling for the past hour? Why didn't you pick up? <laughs> oh, that was you? Yeah, that makes sense. Besides, nothing to worry about. Kikumaru sent Shigure after all. <gasps> That looks more effective than a mop. Nice. Hmm. 
I'm so glad that everyone made it here safely. It's been quite the eventful morning, and I know you all must be anxious to learn more about this test that we have set up for you. So, let's get right to it, shall we? Allow me to introduce you to Seika Amano, Head of Research and Development. As you enter the overgrowth, we will need to monitor your vitals, and more importantly, your progress. This will be done by the Continual Observation Readout of Phenomenal Spiritual Emissions Device, CORPS for short. Huh. Isn't that a bit morbid? The CORPS device will be tracking each and every spiritual encounter that you suppress. The task is simple. Kill as many Ayakashi as you can for the next week. The higher the number, the higher the rank. Have fun, Cam. Not so fast, Seika. Please, don't frighten them. They should be frightened. Fear keeps them alive. Well, yes, but... <sighs> Allow me to elaborate. This is a simple survival test. You'll be given a week to yourselves in the overgrowth. Your goal is to stay alive by whatever means you find necessary and make your way to the old Utsubasa estate until we arrive to retrieve you from that location. Well, what happens if someone doesn't make it to the mansion by the end of the week? The corpse also functions as a GPS device. Should any of you perish... Mm. ...or somehow get lost, we are prepared to retrieve you by the end of the week. Now, I understand there may be some hesitancy, especially after the recent Daikaiju attack on the city, but that is why we've chosen the temple as your entry point. Jintaku Temple keeps this part of the overgrowth quite calm, and the surrounding area is carefully monitored territory for hunters. Rest assured, the Utsubasa estate is merely a two-day trip, if you pace yourselves accordingly, so you should not encounter anything more dangerous than the Oni you've already faced. We will provide you with a map and the, uh, corpse device. That said, each of you will be paired off into teams of two, as you would were you hired on as a warden. So, Hagane, if you would... Ahem. <clears throat> All right, listen up. <laughs> you kids are gonna get a kick out of this. Team one. K Nagisa and Zerio Shishimaru. Uh. Mm. Team two, Kashin Aramaki and Senjo Tatsumi. Uh, excuse me. Uh, whatever. Team three, Mayumi Katsuragi and Masaru Toragumi. Hey, hey, partner. Hey. Team four, Kaze Miyamoto and Tatsuki Itsumi. All right, partner. you and me, Tatsuki. Mitsuki. Finally, team five, Mitsuki Onomuji and Arashi Murakumo. What the fuck? Do you have your head on straight? No way in hell am I putting up with this bastard's ego. My ego? Remember what I told you on the train. For better or worse, you're gonna have to take a good hard look at yourself. Whether it's because your abilities work best together or because working with your partner is going to be your biggest challenge, I chose these teams for a reason. So if you wanna make it in the overgrowth, then you better think long and hard about why you're in these teams. So, um, do we just go? <laughs> of course not! <laughs> Gotta love that Kokai flair! That didn't go as planned. No, this isn't good at all. What's <sighs> up, boss man? That was an abysmal performance, Momiko. That's Shirako, sir. This is Momiko, sir. Whatever. Both of you represented Kokai very poorly today. You know what that means, don't you? Patrol duty? Office work for a week. Demotion. Demotion? Demotion? Until further notice, the two of you are on training duty. Am I clear? Yes, yes sir. Good. I expect to see you in the office first thing in the morning. You're excused for the rest of the day. Together? Together. <laughs> 